welcome back if you're joining me from another video hello if you're joining me for the first time hello so this is this week's marketplace haul video now by marketplace haul i can mean auction wins thrift store finds uh, car boot sales etc etc it's winter in new zealand at the moment so we don't really have um many car boot sales going on since the weekends are mostly rainy so these i've been all found at different thrift stores and let me tell you, my daughter made an amazing discovery. I almost talked her out of buying it. <laughs> and and she insisted that it, it was the real deal. And she ended up being right. You know, sometimes the mummy is not right and your 10-year-old daughter is right. So, you know, listen to your kids because their eyes can be better than yours first off. <laughs> So I am extremely excited with these finds. Let's get straight into them with this Ashton Drake. So here she is. She's an Ashton Drake Baby Alicia. Now Baby Alicia has a battery compartment in the back and the idea being that when you put your finger in here she grabs it and holds on to it lightly like a real toddler. We haven't done that because we just want the doll. We don't it's a bit weird actually. <laughs> it makes it feel a bit too realistic because she's so realistic. We brought her for $20 New Zealand, which is $14 US, which I consider extremely cheap for a baby, which is pretty much like a reborn baby. Um, a bit older, I think, than the reborns are. I'm going to bring up her face to the camera. Isn't she beautiful? We couldn't believe the price we got her for. She's got beans in her butt, so she is weighted down, which they quite often they do with these little baby dolls to give them to give them that heavy feel of a child. There, all she needs is a bit of dusting. You can see there's dust in her eyes. Um, if the camera wants to focus in for me. There we go. So she has dust. So she's obviously been sitting in a closet somewhere, and nobody has loved her. And there's dust in her ears. So a little wash with water and. Um, and uh, a um, cotton bud and she'll be near new. Now she did come with clothes on. Um, whoever had dressed her had dressed her in baby in uh, baby clothes. Just try and get it in focus there. L look at the, even the nails, like the teeny tiny nails. So usually for a doll like this um, you're looking at paying a lot more. <laughs> Uh, the original outfit, I'm not too fussed on. We're going to dress her in some outfits we have here. But we were so excited um, when we saw her in the shop for $20. They didn't really know what she was. We certainly knew what she was. And we now we have her. Yay! <laughs> so that was an awesome find. So the next doll I'm going to look at is a porcelain doll that we purchased for $4. This one doesn't hold really any value in the doll itself. Um, it's more so the clothes um, that we purchased for her, but my daughter won't let me take her out of her clothes, so <laughs> let's bring her up and have a look. Yeah, so this little fuzzy mop here was $4.00. Finding a beautiful made clothes like this can cost you quite a lot in the shops and even for shoes and things. So she's got these gorgeous crochet shoes. Little shoes on here, this dress and then this uh, onesie underneath her undergarments and with bloomers here. Little brooch on the front. So she is just a basic porcelain doll. There's no identifying marks to her. Um, so I don't think she has any value from what I've been told as well. She doesn't really have any value. She's just something beautiful. Astra put her straight up in her room on her shelf. But she is beautiful. There is no denying how gorgeous this porcelain doll is. And when you're doll collectors, you really look for things like this. And for $4, my goodness. I mean, a dollar New Zealand is about, I, mean, I speak in New Zealand terms. A dollar New Zealand is 70 cents um, US. So this would have been $2.80, $2.80 US for this gorgeously dressed, nothing wrong with her porcelain doll. Beautiful. So the next doll I'm going to bring up is another porcelain doll that we purchased. Here she is. She was $5 New Zealand. Again, a lot of dust. So I'm, I'm almost wondered, as these ones were all in, in different shops, but um, 
all in close time together if that makes sense if someone's collection was donated to the shops and they were just spread over you know what was going on because we don't usually see things like this sitting in the shops for too long this was five dollars new zealand she has this gorgeous gorgeous skin tone but for mermaid collection collectors She is a porcelain mermaid doll. Look at her hair. It comes down in these beautiful curls. So her hair needs um, a brush. I'm not going to shampoo it. I'm going to give it a brush and a hairstyle. Because you can see on these ringlets. And it's not actually that bad. So it just needs a real um, large tooth comb to go through it. But look at the detailing on this and these pearls. The only thing that I can spot that's wrong with her is some of the mesh on her midsection just has tiny, tiny holes in it that I can put together with some glue and work. So there's a bigger one there. So it's like a stocking with a hole in it. But I think I can fix those easily. And, and by easily, I mean, you'll notice that there's all these little crystals placed over her and there's some missing. So I'm going to buy a bag of these crystals and place them over the holes and she'll be good as gold isn't she absolutely beautiful now i've been told her name is actually crystal by a porcelain doll collector so it turned out wow how is that for a beautiful piece for a getting older doll collector because my daughter's 10 now so she likes the uh, she's getting into the stage that you know she likes the bigger dolls all right so i said at the start of the video we got something for very little which is actually worth quite a lot Porcelain dolls come in a variety of prices. Um, it's very hard to notice the ones that are worth value to the ones that aren't. <laughs> there are many, many uh, cheapies out there. This girl's the real thing. So this doll here is the one that I half looked at, told my daughter, look, you've got two other porcelain dolls this week. Just, just put her back, put her back, put her back. Mum, she's a real thing. Darling, just put her back. It's okay. Mum, she's a real thing. And so anyway, there was some stomping going on. <laughs> she would not put her back in the toy box. <laughs> a bit of a scene in the shop. And she held on to her and I said, how much is she? Astra said $4.50, but she's worth more. And I said, okay, sweetheart, she's only $4. Put her in the trolley. I did not look at her until I got home. Now underneath is a wooden body. You can see the joints there. So she's fully wooden joints. Um, her arms as well. Down, Her top arm is wooden. Her bottom arm is porcelain. You can see here in the hand. And she has four. What got me thinking that even before the wood body clicked on. She has four layers of exquisite clothing. She has her bloomers and upper piece she has an under dress over that she then has this uh there's a dress under here and then she has a jacket and then she has these shoes now these shoes are made just to show the value of these dolls these shoes with this beautiful handmade crochet are made by joyce nicholson who is if you look up her doll shoes they go for like $20 US each um, on the internet and then when I went to an official and site and asked for information on her uh, it, she has glass eyes you can see her face there and on the back very lightly printed is uh, B R U Brew Eight, I think it is J N E. No, B R U J N E Eight W. She is actually a French reproduction of the of the dolls. Her value is estimated at a hundred dollars plus. <clears throat> um, anything up to two hundred dollars. So I'm speaking New Zealand here. So I've been told that she is. The real deal and <laughs> to be very gentle with her because they have a lot of value in them that is before you get into you know the quality of these clothes is just amazing as i said the shoes are like 20 dollars us each she is absolutely stunning i not looking and not listening to my daughter almost told my daughter to stick her back on the shelf <laughs> 
I am so glad my little girl was with me at the time because I probably wouldn't have walked past. You don't tend to look at porcelain dolls, but it's always a matter of look at the neck and see if there's something there and then ask an expert. <laughs> so very, very happy with that. Last but not least, we pa this is the doll I was talking about that we paid no more than we normally would, but I'm bringing her up because she's so lovely. All right, since we had such a good run with the um, the French reproduction doll, the Ashton Drake doll, and the two other very inexpensive lovelies, my husband and I saw this in a thrift store and they wanted $50 New Zealand for her. I usually play in New Zealand for secondhand the 1980s type Cabbage Patch dolls, about $40 New Zealand, anything from $30 to $40 New Zealand. At $50, I said, uh, my husband said, it's your birthday soon, sweetheart. Just get her. You've had such a good run. And I was really excited and I was like, not arguing. <laughs> so we paid more than we usually would for her and she's the only non-porcelain doll. <laughs> She's not in her original outfit, um, but the outfit is gorgeous. There's little bloomers here. She's got her her Cabbage Patch shoes on. Her body is, a, there's no pulls or anything on her body. I've checked it all over. She's in really, really good condition. You can tell that she's been loved. She's got dust like most thrift store things. Her hair, I, I think her hair is in her original thing because it's, it's got the very, very old elastic bands in there that look like they're going to disintegrate. She has the loops all around and then when after I got her home I picked her up and I generally I don't feel good if I spend more for something than I would but I didn't feel so bad afterwards because when I picked her up it's filled out for 1984 her name is Catherine Carla I didn't realize she had the certificate the certificate's really important to me and then she came with all these beautiful handmade cabbage patch clothing and I'm so excited there's these little dolls little little woolen dolls made for her and another beautiful beautiful dress I don't think this is a CPK no it's not it's not a cabbage patch but just these gorgeous gorgeous clothes so I felt bad at first and then I did not feel so bad oh hang on this one's got a this one has a Oh, this is an original Cabbage Patch. So that's a Coleco. Oh yeah, it has the sign here. So this must be her original dress. This beautiful like sailor dress here. And look at this bonnet to go with this pink dress. So something that someone has loved. The box obviously has seen better days. It's a bit, bit beaten up and I'm not honestly going to hold on to the box. I'm not a box person. I don't generally tend to hold on to them. <laughs> But I love her name, Catherine, because quite often I get Cabbage Patch and they have all these weird sort of names because um, they're all meant to be different. So to have a very basic name was actually quite a surprise. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm just so happy. So that was our doll, <laughs> all our doll marketplace haul for this, uh, for this week's video. I'm going to bring up the camera. So we got this bunch of CPK clothes, beautiful Catherine here, this gorgeous, gorgeous porcelain doll here for $4.50, this mermaid for $5, you have to excuse the mess in the background, I have been crafting, <laughs> you can see over there, I've been sorting out uh, Shopkins I got sent, <laughs> uh, this girl here who has definitely the best buy and um her lovely lovely beautiful wooden body i'm not going to undress her i've done that when i was checking her and this ashton drake like reborn -like type doll okay uh what was oh my goodness picking a favorite from this pile is near impossible mm. You know what, I gotta, I gotta give it to my daughter's doll. My daughter did the good find this week. This beautiful French antique reproduction with glass eyes, wooden body, and just dressed in handmade clothes. Absolutely gorgeous. You think so too, don't you, Lightning?
Yep. <laughs> He's going along. He's probably more like, give me lunch, mum. If you love dolls, please give this video a thumbs up. Hey, if you love toys in general, what should you do, Lightning? Please subscribe. We love Tobin Toys here and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!